Okay, so for this question, we want to find the limit as theta approaches zero. So let's get started. Uh, limit um, theta is going to approach zero. And for questions like these, if we insert zero straight in, we will get uh, cosine, th cosine zero is one, one minus one is zero, sine uh, zero is zero, so zero divided by zero. You can divide by zero, so this method does not work. So we need to find a way to uh, try to cancel out terms. One method to do this is to multiply by cosine theta plus one, and if we multiply it, we have to div also divide by it. So let's do this. So cosine theta plus, uh, minus one, this is what we had, sine uh, theta. So let me, let me get a different color here. Uh, times uh, cosine uh, theta plus one divided by cosine theta plus one. We're not changing anything since cosine theta plus one divided by cosine theta plus one is simply uh, one. But now by, by doing this, we can get limit um, theta is going to approach zero. We'll have cosine theta times cosine theta is uh, cosine squared theta. Uh, this times this, this times this is zero. And we'll just be left off with minus one divided by cosine uh, theta plus one. T oh, actually times, uh, sorry about this, uh, sine theta. That's what we had here. But the, an important note here is that this term right here is a trig identity equaling sine uh, squared theta. And let me scroll down a little bit. Now, by doing this, we can cancel out uh, sine theta in the bottom. So we'll be left off with Uh, negative sine theta divided by uh, cosine theta plus one. Now we can insert uh, theta equals zero. And by doing that, we will have zero, sine, uh, sine zero is zero. But here, an important note is that cosine zero is one, one plus one is two. And therefore, this would equal zero. Um, we couldn't conclude before the answer was zero since we had zero in the denominator and we cannot divide by zero. And so that's it.